Just a quick one guys before we get into today's video, I want you to check out the channel's official clothing store, RFC Clothing. Each design is limited edition and is perfect to wear on a match day, on the terraces at Ibrox, down your local, or cozy in the comfort of your own home. Do browse our t-shirts by going down into the link in the description, or go to rfcclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. In today's video guys, as always here to bring you up to date with all of the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours, that includes two potential outgoings. We'll discuss that of course in detail a little bit later on, but talking about another outgoing, uh, his new boss has made a shock revelation. That's about Connor Golden. Yes, Aris Limassol boss Alex Shlipchevsky has revealed Connor Golden turned down former boss Steven Gerrard lucrative offer to join the former Rangers manager in Saudi Arabia. Golden, of course, left Rangers last month in a £1.5 million deal and opted to move to Cypriot football with ambitious Aris despite reported interest from ex Ibrox boss Gerrard, who's in charge of Al Adifak. Aris's Belarusian manager has praised the 31 year old who's currently signed line for a couple of weeks within the injury for resisting the lure of the Saudi millions. He said Golden is one of the biggest ever transfers in both Aris and full Cypriot football. I spoke with him first after we played against Rangers in Limassol and we had a chat and he was very humble, but I couldn't imagine we'd ever get Golden. When we first spoke to him about coming here, one of the first questions he was asked whether he would have the team ready to challenge for trophies. Golden said no to Saudi Arabia and to working with his old boss Steven Gerrard in favour of coming to Aris for less money. It's shows how hungry he is to be a winner here and he already has the move has been great you can see in training how good he is and how good he very is at helping the younger players so a bit of a shock uh, revelation there. Of course, it does come from the manager, or their manager, um, whether it's true or not. Um, I suppose if he's talking about it, there is some truth in there, um, which I'm fairly surprised about, to be fair. I thought he would have, uh, if there was an offer on the table to go to our artifact, he would have took it. But um, as stated, he went to Cyprus instead. So that's what reports are saying there from his uh, new boss. Now, moving on to the potential other outgoings, guys, and other transfer news. It has been quiet on the incomings from. No further update with anything, really. Um, still the sort of same. Potentially interested in Hannibal, trying to get that deal over the line, and of course, trying to work on a deal for Leo Castledine. But apart from that, it's very, very quiet, which is giving me a slight bit of anxiety because there is a still, you know, we still be getting business done. Um, we need more players in through the door, and that's uh, clear to see. So giving me a slight bit of anxiety, but look, some of these moves could hinder on potential players going out of the door. And we've got an update with regards to two potential outgoings. The first one, of course, is Jose Sinfuentes. Uh, we reported to you a little while ago stating that he would he could be making a move out to Greece. Um, and it has now been reported that his Cruzario deal has been terminated, his loan deal, uh, and he is going to be jetting back to Glasgow. Uh, this is, uh, of, of course, uh, after featuring in, in 20 matches for Rangers, he was sent out alone, but fortunately didn't find any form out in Brazil. Um, but it is now said that he is set to return back to Rangers. And of course, there is reports stating that he could be going to Greece at the end of it. But we'll have to, to wait out on, on further updates with regards to that. At the time, it was being said that we were going to be getting a decent amount of money for him. That was the initial reports from Greece at the time, stating it was around 3 million quid, I think. Um, so, again, wait and see. But that car, the contract at Cruzario, where he was on loan, has now been terminated. So we might get a further update with regards to this transfer situation. But hopefully we can get him off the books and the money we get for him um, that would be a, a big thing on top for us. Now, going on to a slightly bigger story, ladies and gentlemen, um, our Rangers B team, not the Rangers B team, but Jerem Bansbor, uh, apparently they are coming in um, for uh, Todd Cantwell, of course, the one to way Rangers uh, player, has been playing with actually in the proper Rangers B team um, after requesting a move away from Ibrox. Now, uh, his agent has been flaunting him around everywhere, trying to get him out the door, and a player that's on a, a long contract here, we can expect to be getting a good couple of million pounds in through the door I, I, I personally would say so um, and according to reports out in Turkey Trambanspor um, are stating that their manager 
flew out in a private plane the other day to Glasgow to meet up with Todd Cantwell. The same plane returned to Turkey a few hours later and the claimants claimed that a meeting was positive and that Cantwell's transfer would be made official in a short time. Trabzonspor just lost to Rapid Vienna in their Europa League qualifier on Thursday night and Cantwell's former teammate Lundstrom was taken off after 70 minutes while Barisic didn't feature at all. Cantwell was talked about in the report saying while playing in Norwich City the English number 10 was on the list of world giants with his performances. Um, he's apparently, you know, he's rested number 10 and due to his excellent game vision and ability to use his feet and head at the same time. Um, so again, this is what Trambanzbor sources out in, in Turkey are stating that Trambanzbor could be going in for Todd Cantwell. Again, take that with a pinch of salt. We haven't got it from our sort of main sources, but the fact that we're talking about it means that there's some realistic possibility in there. That's why we're talking about it on today's, uh, today's video. Uh, but yeah, Todd Cantwell saga could be over as it did seem as though Trambanzbor are looking to try and sign the player. And to be fair, we should be trying to get as much money as we possibly can. I don't care if he wants to leave. Uh, he's a talented player. He's still fairly young. He's English as well. Um, and yeah, if, if Trambanzbor want him, then they'll have to meet our requirements. I think we got him for pretty much next to nothing when we signed him anyway. Um, so whatever we make on him is, is, is profit and we'll go into the transfer key. But I'm still talking about four to five million pounds. Genuinely, four to five million pounds I would be wanting for, for Todd Campbell. If we got 1.5 million pounds for Conor Gold, and well, I'm looking at £5 million pounds for, for Todd Cantwell for sure but I'll keep you up to date with regards to the situation as it as it goes on um, but it does look increasingly likely that his exit could be closer um, and could be sooner rather than later and he could be heading out to Trapanzbor out in Turkey where they were Barisic John Lundstrom and then Todd Cantwell which is absolutely mental and to be fair I don't think Barisic has actually really been playing for Trapanzbor recently he's more like a little backup option to be fair I've been looking at John Lundstrom as I said he played 70 minutes the other night he's been playing most games um, but yeah um, the Rangers due out there in Turkey uh, their season starts very soon but you've got to pay the money Tram Bansport got to pay the money if you do want him um, at your football club but guys that's all I've really got for you today obviously back in action uh, against Motherwell this weekend really looking forward to the, the, the game hopefully we can build upon that late or late equaliser against Dinamo Kiev we need to get a bit of winning momentum I've been saying that in recent videos that it's now an opportunity to, to, to really create some momentum uh, as we're playing at home and just try and get as many wins on the board as we possibly can and hopefully this new thing will start to stick but uh yeah big game coming up for us um at home hamden uh whatever you want to call it i will be live for that game tomorrow at three o'clock so do be there uh, and hopefully we can get that first victory of the season which could send us on to positive spirits ahead of that game against Dynamo Kiev in the second leg at Hamden also Rangers fans that's all I've got for you today do let me know your thoughts on Todd Cantwell how much do you think he's actually worth to Rangers let me know down there in the comment section below hit the like button hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all next time remember to check out our summer collection link is down there in the description or go to rfcclothing.com thank you and I'll see you all next time take care